startup day is here. We're going through, we got this CVHF, we've got all the refrigerant charged back, we've got everything set. I'm getting ready to do a startup on it. I'm gonna put the purge in on, and part of what I wanna see is, uh, you know, just how's it gonna respond, and are we gonna have a lot of uh, pump outs, we'll monitor the, uh, the suction temp, see if we start to plummet. Uh, like I said, I'm just doing this as kind of a final precaution, and I still got to hook up the laptop. I'm going to go through a final couple of things. Uh, this is on, it's running, it's good. Let this rock and roll. We're a little turned on color, but that's okay. That's part of what I want to verify is hopefully this is dry enough to start. It's all set for quite some time. We've already done, oil level looks good. We've already done the uh, all the balancing. We've got all this back together. We're gonna have an insulator come in and re-insulate once it's said and done. Not calling on water. So far, suction temp staying up. That's a positive. We're still looking really good on our uh, purge suction. Now we're gonna come in here on our TU. So we're connected via the little COM port there. This is Train's newest software. Uh, this is the step above the tech view. It connects. All right, chiller two. All right, we got manual overrides. Switch those back to auto. So this is what we were using to uh, run the compressor and the guide vanes. So switch that back over. We're good there. All right, so no more overrides. Let's go ahead and calibrate that flow. So right now, we've got no flow. And part of what we did, uh, let me get this open. So we're not calling for the chill water. And part of what we did is the startup is we, this year chill water uh, flow we adjusted this setting so that it, it made it see flow when there wasn't actually flow. So we'll take this thermostat screwdriver and basically I'm going to adjust this just to the point where we lose flow completely and back up back down right about there okay and there is no flow on the system so now the expectation is once we get a call and that valve opens up which will be here shortly they're getting the uh, the system brought on through the automation then I'll verify that the flow sensor registers flow properly and that we're we're good we're at a good spot and if I need to kind of fine-tune it from there what I'll do next is once we get full flow, I want to see how high we kind of come up, and I just want to be at these top two little lights. If we're not, I may just kind of barely bump it, just enough to kind of get us there, and then, you know, I'll be confident with where it's going to run after that. In the meantime, uh, the purge suction temp is still looking really good, very happy with it. Uh, basically, what I don't want to see is this just to take an absolute plummet nosedive so it, it, I expected the pur purge and want to pump out a little bit but as, if there was something really critical or if we had a ton of atmosphere that we were struggling with we would have already seen that going to the tank when I say in the tank and we're talking you know zero degrees you know negative degrees of uh, suction line temp so it's a good thing that we're only at 44 and it does indicate we, we probably got a little bit of uh, moisture atmosphere in the system 
or atmosphere specifically, not moisture, but anyway, it's not going to be much, which is which is what we wanted. We responded here, no flow. Temps look really good, set temp. Yeah, <clears throat> no, we, we look real good. So we just went into a pump out, and for those who don't know, so this is your purge unit. This equipment runs in a vacuum. So we run a negative pressure at all times, or not all times, but especially in the evaporator. The condenser, depending on the condenser water temperature and the load, may or may not be in a vacuum itself. This is a 123 refrigerant uh, machine. We're looking really good. We're actually starting to turn a lot more green than we were. We can see a little bit of liquid there. So what's happening is this, refri this little refrigeration circuit is separate from the main chiller. So this has, I think, 404 refrigerant in it. And this is the little evaporator it pumps into. We're pulling vapor off the top of the condenser, which is where our atmosphere is gonna collect. We're pulling it into this little uh, tank here. And this refrigeration unit with a little uh, uh, pressure control valve to create our, our metering device, we are chilling the refrigerant and condensing it in this tank. As it condenses, it collects her in the bottom and drains out through our dryer and then back into the uh, uh, into the the condenser as a liquid refrigerant and then the evaporator stays in the top up here and then gets pumped out uh, through that into the vent lines and how we know that it's time to do a purge or a pump out is uh, this temperature right here, this pipe, once it drops below a certain degree, so typically around 18 degrees, this will kick into a pump out and we will purge all the atmosphere back out of this unit. And that's how we maintain. So if we get a small leak or something, that's how we're able to control the atmosphere getting in here and getting it back out of the system. Now there's some more complexity to this one. We have a regen tank and a few other things, but I won't get into that for now. We'll just keep it simple. That's a really uh, good indicator for me as long as all the sensors are working properly of how well the refrigerant is doing in the system. So we're about to get our water turned on now. It is time. I'm gonna go auto, we got our flow. Flow sensors calibrated. It's going to go through its initial uh, calibrations and flow timers. And now the guide vane actuator is calibrating. Looks good. It's good. Our pump outs continue to look really good. They should be starting the oil pump here in just a minute. If I hadn't already. Let's see, it has not but it will be shortly. Right now it's gonna go through a calibration and then it's gonna confirm that there is actually a load. Which I guess we should look at that. We're at 48. That should be enough to bring it on. I think we've got a four degree. It's either four or eight degrees. We can go look. Settings. Da, 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 da. Yeah, five degree to start. So we'll move this to, so this is the degree to start. Move it to two. That'll give us a call. We can move it back once we're done. Okay, that started our oil assembly. pre lubed one minute. So let's limit this current. 40% RLA. Because basically what, we want, what we're trying to do is we want to get a baseline of operation, just make sure everything's going to do okay um, before this thing runs for the hills on us. That way if we're going to have a problem, we can see it up front instead of seeing it later. All right. And that's a wonderful sound.
trying out the surge right now. Evap approaches off. Oil temperature looks good. IGV looks good. Motor temp looks fine. We're not getting hot. So part of what we're doing now, it did just come down or shut down on us. We've only got a, a 48 entering. I really want to put a heavier load on this chiller. It needs to be, you know, broke in. Everything's fresh and brand new. Uh, we got the RTHD next to us. It's a screw water cooled. We got it ramping down now. So we're going to get it out of the loop to get us more load. Put more load on this chiller. We had trouble before anyway. Keeping enough load on this thing anyway. Or before everything else. So part of what I want to do right now is I'm just I'm taking a cautious approach. I want to just verify everything. We come on, run, do what it needed to. We've done that, now I wanna put some load on it and really see how much better it can perform and, and get heavier operation on it. Part of what we're gonna be struggling with is, you know, just how far apart our water temps are right now too. It's very humid in our area right now, so we're gonna have trouble keeping our condenser waters down. So we've got a much heavier load on it now that really helped it. Part of our issue we were having with surging earlier is we didn't have much load on the machine. But now that we've got a load on it, we're noticing that something's off with our condenser approach. We just verified, I got a temp probe. That's reading uh, 91, almost 92 right now. And we've got right at 91 here, so our temperature is okay. We need to verify that transducer. So I'm gonna go grab a, uh, a pressure probe, uh, one of my testos, and we'll put on that tap back there and see what our condenser pressure is. Cause now I'm wondering is that transducer maybe got a problem that it's not registering properly or maybe, I don't know. So anyway, let me get that hooked up. Let's see what it says. So we do have some tower issues, but we did, we did have a little bit of air we got trapped in the barrel. We're gonna go ahead and run a hose out and let that that air purge on this. But I'm gonna tap here. We got the condenser probe hooked up. We're at 4.4, 95 saturation. We're at 92. So we are reading uh, quite a bit off, honestly. That says 4.5 G, 4.4. Is this reading actual temp maybe? Let me go look. Let me see if we got a probe. Uh, yep, right there. Okay, so that liquid line probe is uh, reading off and that's what we're pulling saturation from so yeah we're gonna have to replace that probe which is okay that's not too big of a deal oh In the meantime, we're honestly looking pretty good. Our purges look good. Our, our condenser water is running high, but I mean, it's within 10 degrees. So this temperature is reading low. And it's reading uh, about three degrees lower than it should. So we need to replace that temperature. So while doing the edit, I realized that I 
actually kind of forgot to close out the video while I was on site. So you'd saw the bulk of what had happened. Nothing really much happened beyond that. Uh, that we took care of the sensor, finished checking it. Everything balanced out. We looked absolutely incredible on our numbers, on our readings. Very, very happy with how this chiller turned out. Uh, it was a very good journey for my team. I really tried to stay out of the process as much as possible so that they could really dive in and, and get that experience, be able to get as much out of that as they can. And it, and it went really well overall. We, it, was, it took a lot longer than it, it probably should have. Uh, we did have a lot of delays between getting materials, getting things ordered, and, and you know, getting... Uh, um, the, the, the motor rebuild and stuff back to us on top of that we've had so much going on it was a little hard to stay focused on the job too we just as, as a company we've had a tremendous amount of growth and development and just a lot of things happening for us recently it's just been a lot to keep up with regardless this is now wrapped up I'm very happy with the chiller startup vacuum pulled down really well prior to the startup we got it charged up i mean everything just really really it could not have gone any better it really couldn't uh the the compressor balancing was on point and that was something that was a really big thing for the team was we had our balancing company come out and they hooked up and did all of their stuff and put the test weights on it and everything and as it was they i mean it was well within tolerances without any adjustments needed i mean that's a really big thing a really big deal that the guys did a absolutely incredible job with that you know even the balance people were honestly pretty impressed because most of the time they have to make even just minor adjustments they have to do something anyway really appreciate it guys i hope you all enjoyed this it it and hope you enjoyed the journey i hope this video kind of helps just sh give you some additional things we we're looking at so a lot of stuff i'm paying attention to is our approaches our water flow um how well is the compressor running the sound of it or are we having any significant issues i kept hitting on the purge pretty heavily that purge is is kind of a, just a metric to gauge the condition of the refrigerant so there's a lot to check and verify and just ensure that everything is right and proper we'll have an insulator actually we've already had the insulator come out and do the finish out the insulation on the compressor make sure all that was good to go so that chiller is 100 percent done and it's very uh, satisfying and, and exciting for the team there's a tremendous amount of work I've had several requests come through that you know you'll want like a time lapse or something on an overhaul um, that's something I could try to plan on in the future uh, it's not something I'm going to promise and it won't be something anytime soon I don't have an immediate overhaul scheduled we've had a couple of them that we've bid but uh, even if we got awarded anything like that I mean it would be months before we actually started it anyway Regardless, appreciate it, guys. Y'all have a good one. MTT, take care of your family. Take care of your spouse, your kids. They really need you. Um, it's just, it's it, we, we've got to make sure we're taking care of our family and making the time, taking the family time. MTT. The scholarship is still running. I am hiring at my company if anybody is interested. Uh, we do have a sign-on bonus. And uh, I'm told that, so there were some things for Trade Academy that they're working out on the giveaway stuff. Uh, I know we had talked about that being a more routine thing. Uh, there were some delays that kind of came in with that. So just be patient if that's something you were looking forward to. This will be worth it because the tools that will be coming up in the near future um, will be considerably better than what, you know, some of the things that we had been offering uh, prior well, which what we had was honestly was pretty decent stuff, but this will kind of be at an even higher level anyway Thanks guys. We'll see ya